The Syrian regime of Bashar al-Assad is close to controlling all of Damascus for the first time in about five years. Hundreds of rebel fighters are evacuating the last part of Damascus held by the opposition. Seth Doan is in Damascus with how the fight is affecting life there. Seth, good morning. Good morning. Reminders are everywhere that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad is in control of the center of Damascus for a regime that does not shy away from propaganda. One of its biggest victories may be closer than ever, controlling not just the center of the city, but the outskirts, too. Assad's Syrian army has been bombarding the suburbs of Damascus, destroying his own city to root out the opposition. Those who weren't killed were given the chance to surrender. Thousands of rebels and civilians boarded buses near Damascus over the weekend, destined for other opposition-held areas. 400,000 people are believed to have been killed in this war. It makes these scenes from the main souk in Damascus, just about four miles from the front line, seem surprisingly normal. Residents here do have security, but war has affected them. Abu Muhammad has been selling tamarind juice out of this elaborate contraption for nine years, and prices have skyrocketed. The fighting also affects us psychologically, he admitted, but we are strong as long as our leader Assad is strong. Nearby, this ice cream parlor was packed in the 90-degree heat. As Syrians indulged, Bashar al-Assad watched on and student Wael al-Asfar supports him. Maybe you, the American thinks that uh, all the people here under, the, uh, under siege maybe or under uh, attack or under uh, rockets and missiles, it's not like that. At least it's not like that here in central Damascus. And those are the scenes the regime wants to get out. Stability and security where Assad has control. Nora. Great reporting, Seth Doan there in Damascus, Syria. Thank you.